Aloha friends! In today's episode, we're going to be eating our way through Oahu sharing our top foodie picks you gotta try, bro. So let's get to it, roll that intro. Fact. I didn't grow up a breakfast kind of guy. I ate around noon and had no sense of what I was missing. Leonard's Bakery will fundamentally change your breakfast DNA. It did for me. They serve fluffy, warm, sweet Portuguese donuts. And these donuts are next level, guys. Things you need to know, parking is scarce, so find street parking. It does get crowded, so make sure to show up early. And guys, do yourself a favor and buy in bulk. Try a bunch of different sweets. You can't go wrong. Perhaps you're interested in more of a sit-down breakfast kind of place that will fill your belly with joy. Sweetie Cafes is a must if that's the case. Portions here are huge, prices are fair, staff is crazy friendly, and the food is like an epiphany. Once you try it, you'll come to the realization that you've been making eggs the wrong way your entire life. You can't go to Hawaii and not try a food truck. That is the definition of sacrilege. So, if you're going to go try a shrimp, Giovanni's is the place to fill up on. All around it are a ton of other foodie options you can try if you're not in the mood for shrimp. One thing to know when going here though, bring sunscreen, a hat, and some extra water. Shade is scarce here and you will feel the sun when you are chowing down. Giovanni, their most popular dish. Ch Giovanni, Giovanni, their most popular dish. Expect the shrimp to be fresh, packed with juices, and leave you wanting more. Dairy-free yumminess. Steps away from the beach, every item is Instagram-worthy, and it's sweet and refreshing, plus somehow they made all of this healthy. You're not gonna like this. It tastes cold, healthy, sweet. I don't know what the purple stuff is, but it's delicious. It is the perfect combination of the dessert you've been looking for your entire life without the guilt trip that comes with eating sweets. Here's the truth about Dukes. You're gonna wait a bit to eat. You're waiting for the view. We sat outside and saw the sunset and it was re dong q -less. It was like something out of a movie. It was so beautiful. It's good. It's good? You know what happened to this good? What? It's dangerous. Yeah, because you can't feel alcohol. You're going to go here for the atmosphere and you're going to stay for the burger and fries. We recommend going there for dinner before the sun sets. There are so many great places to eat at Oahu. Tell us your favorite picks below and let's make this video a huge Oahu foodie list. And until next time, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in our next adventure.